Hello everyone, welcome to Nintendo Unleashed episode 58. My name is Armando, and today I'm joined by Connor. Hi. And Noah is back. I am a robot. Oh, <laughs> the robot? Have you seen the Hello. robot? Did you see the robot? <laughs> yes, I, I did see the robot. Thank you for asking, Arms. Yeah. Wait, what's I saw it? him today. I saw him today at Walmart. Oh, on the street? Oh, Walmart, I'm sorry. No, oh, no, right. Walmart. On Walmart. the shelf. Oh, the robot. The robot. Thank you, for, thank you for letting me know. You um, should have bought him. Um, why are you saying Noah's back? He was here last week. No, no, he's always missing. That's the thing. He was here last week, though. Joke. No, yeah, but I was missing. Joke. No, yeah, I'm missing. No, he was here last week. Don't ruin it. <laughs> I ruin everything. Don't ruin it. Noah's missing, know. guys. Wow. Hashtag Noah's missing. Don't make that a thing, please. <laughs> no, actually, actually. This episode no, is. But... Okay, no, not really. Uh, anyway, <laughs> arms, what's happening this week? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, um. Well, if you guys didn't know, Nintendo Unleashed is Blaze Cakes Weekly Nintendo Podcast, where Whoa. we talk about, of course, Nintendo. Uh, this week, we, we're going to talk about Mario Maker because Connor's favorite character was added to Mario Maker. Right? Am I right? Am I right? No. And we're also going to talk about My Nintendo because that was that launched in Japan. And something that launched in Japan as well this week was Mitomo. Yes, the and, secret game of the year. Yeah, that, so Nintendo's first mobile app released in Japan. And guess what? Connor and I have played it. And we're going to talk about it. We've got hot takes. About... We've got hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about it. So uh, this is going to be an exciting show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and before we get into our topics, I'm just, I just want to mention that Blaze Kick is not on Patreon. Yes. So that means Nintendo Unleashed is also on Patreon. Uh, we launched our Patreon uh, page on the 15th. And go check it out. It's Blazekick. No, it's Patreon.com slash Blazekick. Uh, there's a video that explains why we are on Patreon. And it's basically, it's because uh, we want to fund the website. We want to have everything up and running for you guys to just go on the website, look for reviews or for podcasts like this one. And so, if, the, if the people give some money, they can get early access to this very podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we have we only have three tiers right now. So if you just pledge a dollar, you're gonna get access to tournaments that we host or events that we host, and then you're gonna have access to Bla- the Blaze Kick podcast, podcast w- which will be a monthly Patreon exclusive podcast. So that's coming up. That's coming back actually. So. So we're yeah, that, that was actually an, that was actually an ancient thing, right? That never really uh, happened yeah, yeah. consistently. There were like four episodes over the span of a year. Yeah, exactly. So we decided to just make it a monthly podcast. Even if you just give us a dollar, you'll get access to that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, more information about that soon. We're still planning it, but yeah. Uh, and then if you pledge five dollars or more, you're gonna get access early access to the audio podcast. Any audio podcast that we host. So, Unleashed. Unleashed, or the PlayStation Ooh. podcast that we just Ew. launched. Which is called the Dude Cast for some reason. I've yet to ask about that one, but I'm very curious. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to be uh, a preeny or something. All right. From this Gaia. It's because there's like a three-hour the Skype call and no one could think of a name. <laughs> I like it. I, I like the sound of it. It's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then any uh, other future podcast that we may, might uh, decide to make, right. we're going to get access to. Like Anime Undaunted. Undaunted. <laughs> <laughs> anime Understanding. Uh, <laughs> that could be a thing. Uh, EA and then, Unraveled. Oh, yeah. Oh, our weekly EA podcast. <laughs> where we talk about FIFA. The new, up- the new updates. <laughs> on all, the latest- all, all things microtransactions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and then the last tier that we have is a ten dollar tier, and if you just donate uh, ten dollars more, you can video content. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about that later on other stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go check out our Patreon, and if you decide us to uh, just give us a dollar and help us out, we appreciate it. And if and even if you don't. 
we hope you continue to uh, consume our content and enjoy our podcasts. And please, please share it. If there's an episode you like, please share it on Twitter. That helps us so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do all that. Please do it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's just get right into our topics, or actually, let's talk about what we've been playing this last week. Right. Noah? Um, Twilight Princess HD. I got it last week, um, or last weekend, rather, so I've had it for almost a week now, and I'm almost on the Forest Temple. Uh, I, I did find the intro to be pretty slow, although not as horrible as some people said, but I'm, I really <laughs> like the Forest Temple. I really like the monkeys. Um, I think it's fun. You like men? Yes, she's the best, best character. The wolf. Wolf is pretty good. I like the chain. I like the chain that, that kind of rattles when he moves. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, Connor. I've uh, been playing Love Live. Forgot the Umi event started today. Thought it was tomorrow. So. <laughs> oh yeah, you're behind now. I mean, luckily, usually I get it like two or three days before the event ends. So I'm still gonna Wait, be you're fine. Gonna cure? No. I'm gonna tear on Katori, but uh, oh. I also played like two rounds of Pokémon with my brother. Um, uh, I suck at Chandelure. I'm not sure if that's the character sucking though, because mm. it just felt like I had n- almost no control over it. But Ooh. then Weavile, I had t- was like tons of fun, and I could move all over the place. So I don't know if that's character well, or if I was I, screwing I, I, up. I think Challenge Doors. Challenger uh, supposed to be like a really slow character. It's uh, so yeah. So it wasn't. Back, it wasn't what? just moving. It was also like attack. It was always doing. I think fire spin, even when I was doing <laughs> the commands for other moves. Really, hmm. well, that's so, interesting. It could, sounds like a new character. Then Weavile was fine, and that's all I got a chance to play as. I also played uh, Mitomo. Uh, Oh, yeah. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot to say. And, um, Pokemon Crystal. I almost (laughs) beat it. I just beat Silver right before this podcast, the last match before the Elite Four, so then I have to go back to Kanto and I'm done. Oh, my God. I don't know how you find time to play all these games. (laughs) Uh, well, Mitomo is is mostly. Pokemon is is a time consuming game. Not really. For Pokemon, it was mostly like while I'm watching other YouTube videos or something, I just, oh, so you just boot it up. So you kind of just do it, do it in the background. Yeah, just kind of right. listening to other videos and play Pokemon. So. Yeah, I've heard that from, from a lot of people. The issue for me is when I play games, I like to be immersed in that game, you know? So that's why I've, I have a little bit of difficulty doing those kinds of things. But I like I can that understand. for my first playthrough, but if I'm replaying a game, I don't care as much. Hmm. And Fair enough. I've played Crystal like quite a few times, so right. It's not that big of a deal for me. Okay. Okay. Arms, what have you been playing? Fire Emblem Fates, Conquest. Oh, yeah. I'm still not done. I think I'm on chapter 16 now. All right. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Um. What else? Uh, Love Live. Uh, uh, Mitomo, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that, that's it. <laughs> That's nice. it. Most of my time has been dedicated to uh, uh, waste cake. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, as of like yesterday, I spent a lot of time with Mitomo. So, so yeah, I want to talk about that later nice. on. Anyway, I'm going to go right into what is on the eShop this week. It's actually a pretty great week. Um, starts off with a game I'm planning on picking up this evening, Mutant Muds Super Challenge, um, mm. which is more of Mutant Muds 1.5 than Mutant Muds 2. And one of the more enticing things about this game um, is that, so number one, it's cross-buy across Wii U and 3DS. And nice. unlike unlike um, Mario uh, and Donkey Kong, where you have to like, ex- do the code or whatever, I'm pretty sure it just works automatically. Um, so like that one skating game, I forget what it's called, Oli Oli. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it works in a much you know, more streamlined way. And in addition to that, if you own the original on Wii U or 3DS, or if you tried the demo for this one, you get 15% off. Um, so basically, if you played the demo or own the original games, uh, it's 850 to get on both systems, which is pretty pretty great deal, because there's a good amount of content. Uh, so I'm excited for that. And also on Wii U, I'm only mentioning this because it's a follow-up to a pretty old 3DS eShop game called Bird Mania, 
which I'm really not sure why I bought. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Birdmania Party. Well, and actually, again, it, it's Bird... wait, is Birdmania the the Angry Birds? Box? No, that was no, like two dollars. No, it's DS? different. Oh, no, no. I mean, it, it was two dollars, but it's not Angry Birds. Like, I mean, it has a bird, but that's it. Oh. Um, <laughs> and also on Wii U, a game that looks pretty interesting is an indie game called You Host. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, you can make your own game show on Wii U and have it for parties. Apparently, there's over 1,000 preloaded questions, and you can write your own. So it actually sounds like it has a good amount of content. <laughs> I'm going to wait for reviews, but it could be potentially a fun party game. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, on Wii U, Pokemon Tournament to, available to download for 60 bucks. But if I were I would just pick up the first print run, since it comes with the Shadow Mewtwo card. And oh, Dig Dug... Cool. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures, it looks awesome. Um... And you can, but... unlock Sha- you can unlock Shadow Mewtwo in the game, right? It just takes a while. Yeah, I think it's yeah. beat the solo single-player mode thing. Okay, like the, fa- or, like Fair the League. Fair League or whatever, yeah. But I, th- I think even if you just scan the card, you can only play as Mewtwo, like, uh, like every time you scan the card. <laughs> yeah, you have to scan, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, so it's, well, at least people won't be able to resell it on eBay. Oh, yeah. Why not? Well, because if well, you because just you need the card to get Mewtwo. Yeah, if you just That'd scan be... it and instantly have Shadow Mewtwo, you could just scan it, sell it, scan it, sell it. Yeah, good point. Um, and also, Dig Dug Two was on Virtual Console, so that's interesting. But not 3DS because Crossbuy is not a thing yet. Um, <laughs> even though it's an NES game. So anyway, 3DS eShop also Mutant Muds, but also uh, Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 games. Reviews apparently came out at midnight. I've yet to check them. Did you guys get to see the... Uh, apparently there were very few reviews, but did you see nope. that at all? I didn't even know the review embargo. What's up? Mm. All right, interesting. Um, and, and I think that's it. Uh, and there's more Fire Emblem DLC, and there's a Twilight Princess theme. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. You forgot something very important. Oh, uh, Mitomo? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, God, yes. I don't know. What is it? There are Twilight Princess HD badges on oh, the back. Right. Okay. Sorry, yeah. that's not part of the listed as Nintendo download. Yeah, I want to check. There's like a mid one, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. My, my problem with those badges are that the that crane game for those badges are, is really hard. So, mm. you, so you actually have to like put some money on it so you can oh, get all you gotta, of them. Yeah, you get a fork out. Yeah, they're going to start making them harder just you watch. You're going to be yeah, forced even, to pay. Even, even the Fire Emblem ones are hard. Mm. Yeah, I noticed. They have a lot of, like... God, it's so annoying. Um, it is. It is annoying. Yeah. So, uh, okay, I, I don't know if you've experienced it. So, whenever you get, like, a, let's say, three free plays or something... Yeah. Uh, then you get most of the most of the set, but you're only missing one. What do you do? Do you pay, or do you just forget no, about I, it? No, I don't care about the set. Forget about it. Yeah, forget I, about no, it. No, I have to get it. So uh, for I, me, for me, I don't care about the sets. I just care about getting the ones I want. Well, if it if it's a set that you want, if it's a set I want, absolutely. And the thing, I, I don't want them as sets. I just have interest in individual badges. You know, I don't care about completing the sets. That'll take too, way too much money. Well, I, I just want the Fire Emblem portraits. Oh, you want all of them? God. Yeah, I, I'm only missing, I think, three. Wow. Right now. How much so money need- did you spend? Uh, I spend like six dollars on oh just the gosh. portraits. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> just the portraits, not the units. Yeah, still, you're gonna spend twice as much. You could have bought Dig Dug Two with that money. <laughs> <laughs> no, or yeah, or I could have put that money towards the the, the DLC. DLC, yeah. Yeah, probably would have been much more worth it. But whatever, your choice. <laughs> um, oh well. But anyway, uh, yeah. So moving on, um, Mario Maker updates. Like we said, two new costumes. Uh, Captain Toadette, or just Toadette, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the version of Toadette from Captain Toad. Though, yeah, right? it is. Okay, cool. Um, and also, you, Ayasaki, who, uh, there was a bit of a confusion. <laughs> if you Google that name, you're going to find some not-safe-for-work stuff. Mm-hmm. Because, <laughs> well, I mean, a character. everything was safe for work, but the game she's from is not safe for work. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't look that deeply, but everything yeah. I saw. Oh, yeah. She's... yeah, if you go on images, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so she's also a character from uh, Jam with the Jam with the Band on DS. Um, 
And apparently the two versions of the character look very similar. They like both have blue hair, and their names are obviously identical, so one could uh, understand well, why that might be a bit confusing. I'm sure, like, if we... S- if the Jam with the Band one, if I saw an actual picture of her, they probably would look different, but it's just that tiny 8-bit sprite. Sprite, yeah. So Especially it, since, it, like, all I have is a promo image of the other character. So mm-hmm. I don't know if that's clothing that she wears. Yeah. So, because there's tons of characters that have, like, a uniform in their everyday clothing. So. Right. It, I, I just thought they were the same character. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, cool costumes, glad to know we're still getting them. Uh, and Splatoon, in Splatoon updates, uh, the next Splatfest. Sam Castle versus Snowman, is that North America or is that the Europe one? North America. Okay, what does Europe have again? No Do idea. Alright, that's fine. But anyway, we have Sam Castle versus Snowman, which is interesting. I'm, I'm probably gonna go with Sam Castle, I love Sam Castles. Um, Not gonna like, pick the Fleek Snowman? Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, the the worst uh, Splatoon text update ever happened, and I got too many retweets from uh, people on hashtag torrential downpour, so I deleted it. <laughs> but, um, and wait, also, the what, spl- wait, what happened? Oh, I missed that. What? Oh, so I, I tweeted a picture of. Are you familiar with what Callie says for the new Splatfest? Uh, no. Oh my god! So it's so cringy. It's like Snowman on fleek or whatever. <laughs> she says like a um, ton of stupid crap like that. It's yeah. like Snowman on. <laughs> Flea. Uh, she she says like a bunch of things like an, an adult would say, trying to sound hip around teenagers. Yeah, and like oh. I, I think it's supposed to be funny, but I really can't tell. Um, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. Um, but I I, I posted a screenshot. I got like a hundred retweets and a bunch of people being like, "Wow, I'm not buying Splatoon because of this." And I was like, "No, it, that was not what I intended." So I just deleted it. Oh. Um, but anyway. Um, and so Splatfest is changing a bit. You're not going to have a Splatfest power level, which fluctuates just like your rank. So, whereas previously your Splatfest rank could only go up, now it can go up and down, which I think is good. Um, it actually reflects your skill, rather than you being able to play all day and just lose, but still get points. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and so Hyrule Warriors, DLC. Apparently there are season passes for both the Wii U and 3DS versions. Um... (laughs) I only know more about the 3DS version, though, and I know that it covers uh, A Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening, and the two DS Zeldas. So I'm just really hoping that Ravio gets added from A Link Between Worlds, and I think that's pretty much a given. It'll be pretty cool if you'll be able to use, like, all of Link's items in that game. Um, so it's two playable characters from A Link Between Worlds. Yes. So and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's Ravio and Hilda. Uh, no, I think it'll be Yuga. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Yeah, because you could turn people into paintings. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no no Hilda. I mean, she's cool, but she already has a costume in the game. I'd um, rather Hilda than Ravio, just because there's already two links. I mean, right, technically I mean, Zelda and well, Sheik, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, look, hold on. Um, Skip 30 seconds ahead if you don't want to hear Link Between Worlds spoilers. Oh, right. Um... <laughs> I'm assuming you guys have both finished the game? Yeah. Okay, so we know that Ravio is, like, alternate Link. So I think his moveset wouldn't reflect to Link, so it would be unique, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but... plus he has that bird with him, so... Exactly, that could be cool. Um, but okay, Hilda, best! Okay, anyway, spoilers over, spoilers over. Um, yeah, Hilda, Hilda, she's very cute. Um, I just don't know how her moveset would be that different from Zelda. I don't even care, best girl, must be in. Yeah, good. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I'll be happy with Hilda. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think it would be Ravio and Hilda. Love your I don't reasoning. Thi- I, I, don't think th- I don't think they'll not have Ravio, because he's really important in that game. I think it could Ravio and Hilda I would be fine with. Um, I wish it was three characters. I don't see why two, but whatever. Yeah. And then uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks pack? Yeah, I think they also have two characters each, but I didn't check. I'm not sure. Uh, it's one new playable character. And it's then only one? one? Link. Yeah, well, just one. Uh, what's his name? The ship guy, uh... Lineback? Yeah, he's, like, the only memorable character yeah. from either game. It'll definitely be him. Like, there's and, the yeah. Chancellor or whatever from Spirit Tracks, mm-hmm. and other than that, I'm pretty sure every other character is just, like, they, one they need to make the train. Or... They, they need to make the train playable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd, that'd be, be amazing. Awesome. I mean, oh, yes. It would. That'd be so funny. You could just, you could like drift and just like be a, a just a, a wall of death. Yeah, it could be like, a, it could be like the king of red lions. Like he just transforms yeah, into exactly. a, 
the the train and just mm -hmm. runs over everybody. Uh, yeah. and then links away the beginning. Yeah, um, I, I really don't know. I guess Marin or Terran, maybe. Um, yeah, and hopefully, you, hope... you playable character, just one. And hope, okay, okay, maybe the windfish. <laughs> 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 and a new weapon for Linkle, so that's that's important. Oh, nice. Okay, not bad. Yeah, yeah that's um, fair important. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and so my Nintendo details. My Nintendo is out in Japan, very soon out in North America. And I'm going to run through what we know about it. Um, so, in terms of the difference, um, well, what they have is they have a series of actions you can do, which sort of resemble achievements in order to get rewards. I'll just rattle off some of them. Um, so you can link your Nintendo Network ID to your Nintendo account, obviously a one-day thing. And some of them are daily events. So if you change your Mii's clothes once a day in Miitomo, you get coins. If you get a certain number of comments or likes on your post in Miitomo. Um, you get Miitomo, though. So. Yeah, but they, they also, Mitomo those double as... Those... are the My Nintendo coins. Oh, okay. Well, the, yeah, so uh, no, there's, there's, there's two kinds, yeah. Platinum okay. and Miitomo are the same kind of coin. Okay, However, okay, gold okay. points you only get for buying games. Um, okay. But... Platinum and Miitomo coins you can get for daily or weekly actions. In fact, one of the better ones, um, if you sign on to the N Nintendo eShop in Miiverse once a week, uh, if you do both of those, you'll get 60 coins. So that's pretty great. Um, and that's pretty easy. Um, and, of course, gold coins you only get for buying things. And so in terms of um, the rewards, so it sort of varies. but th so Because there's a mix of discounts and actual games. Um, I'll, again, rattle off some of them. Uh, so some of the discounts are for uh, Majora's Mask 3D, and you actually get pretty significant discounts. So, 40% off Majora's Mask, 40% off Ultimate Remix, Ultimate NES Remix. Uh, you can actually get 50% off Metroid, Other M, and Galaxy. Wow. So, now mind you, you have to spend a pretty good amount of coins, but that's pretty cool, actually. Um, and you can get, so not discount, but you can get Mario 64, New Super Luigi U, Pikmin 3 DLC, uh, Metroid Fusion, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and of course, uh, my Nintendo Twilight Princess Picross. Pick yep. Yeah, yeah. And, and we were right about that. We were yeah. well, yeah. Um, and Wario were twisted on 3DS. Which is um, DS now, game. Yeah. No. According to Connor, was it you who told me that um, Japan has already had DS games, or is that someone else? It wasn't me. Okay, someone else told me that Japan has in fact already gotten DS games on the Virtual Console. I'm not sure whether that holds true. I don't true, think but... that's true. Mm. Yeah, no, um, I haven't heard anything about yeah. that. Also, you can use Platinum Points to get stuff in Miitomo, so you can buy game tickets or different outfits, so that's kind of cool. By the way, um, that, you can uh, also... WarioWare Twisted runs as if it's DSiWare. Okay. Just in case you it, 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 Huh? It's WarioWare Touched. It's WarioWare oh. Touched. No, it's Twisted. Oh, oh, sorry. Is it Touched? Wait, that... Oh, no, it's Touched. No, it's, it's Touched. touched. It's touch. touch is a DS game. Twisted is a GBA. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, it's sorry. I'm well, sorry. Touch yeah, runs as if it was DSiWare. Okay. Also, you can get some 3DS themes. I kind of wish you could get Badge Arcade plays. Um, hopefully they eventually <laughs> oh, add that. Oh, Imag yes. Please. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, Arms will no never get points. anything except those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Mito sounds pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to getting North America. I'm definitely going to try to do as many of those uh, rewards as I can in order to get cool stuff. And people are hoping that... Uh, it, it's probably not going to happen on Wii U and 3DS, but by the time NX rolls around, people are hoping they're, go they're going to implement an achievement system for these. So, unlike Xbox Live we're, and PSN, we're doing achievements because you nothing. These would actually get you discounts, which could be really cool. Hey, it boosts your gamer score, and you can brag on Oh, one. yeah, wow, that matters. It does. Ask Arms and Kel. And, yeah, that's all they care wait, about. Wait, um, this about heated platinum what, race. What are you talking about? Platinum, whatever. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, but yeah, like yeah, that, that's important. That's very important. To us. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it'll offer actual benefits. It, you know, if speculation is to be believed, so that's cool. Uh, uh, well, the hey, there's a benefit in having Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana displayed uh, as a platinum. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you do it, Kel doesn't want to do it. <laughs> For shame, Kel. He hit it. Wow. <laughs> um, I can't believe he actually owns the game. But anyway, um, so. <laughs> You know, along with my Nintendo, Miitomo launched in Japan. Um, and it launched... <laughs> God damn, is it doing well. It's the number one free game in Japan. Um, that's big. A lot of people use... A lot of people download free apps in Japan. A lot of people. And it's number one on its second day of release. That's insane. Um, at first it was number two. I'm like, huh. 
I understood why it was number two, because it was number two to a new Puzzles and Dragons game, and those are huge in Japan. But the fact that it overcame that is like, boom. What well, a great it was start. Number two, it was number two within like 24 hours. So. Yeah, no, that, that's, I mean, that's, that's still big. Yeah, that's still big. That's still big. Yeah. But the fact that it's now number one is like, wow. People yeah. are downloading this like mad in Japan. Now, I don't think we're going to see the same level of insanity in North America. I mean, I, I hope... I think I, I, no, no, okay. I hope we do. I hope we do. I just don't think we will. I really hope we do. Um, I think we'll at least crack like top ten. Um, maybe even top. I'm not sure about number one. I I hope so. I'm, uh, I'm so gonna remain What's number one right now? In North America. Yeah. I'm in uh, the you, Japanese you guys, store, you guys keep talking. Um, I'll check. Yeah, I'm in the Japanese Japs. Uh, Japanese. Japs right now, <laughs> Japanese. So. Uh, okay. Japs. Currently, currently the number one. Whoa. Uh, the number one free app. Which, guess, guess. It's it's March Madness. Um, oh. Because that's what's happening right now. The second, way. the first game is called Basketball Stars. Seems America really loves basketball, huh? Um, well, they only like it around March, so. Yeah, yeah, that's number one on Android right now, too. Yep. And the third is Clash Royale, so it's the sequel to Clash of Clans. It's going to be hard to top that. Because those games are big for whatever reason. They're really bad. I don't know where they get so popular. Because <laughs> um, mm, Facebook I think moms. Will, will, yeah, that too. I think Mitomo will get, will be around the, maybe top five, but then like, the first week. I hope so, because like, uh, I'm just trying to spread the word of my school. It's, I wish well, people would be well, well, even if, even if you tell someone like, hey, there's a, a Nintendo app. Mm. And, and, and it's app free. By and Nintendo, it's free. And it's free. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah, hopefully they will. Because people, yeah. like, people, like, most people associate positive feelings with Nintendo from their childhood. And the fact that, like, pretty much everyone has either an iPhone or an Android, um, yeah. and the fact that it's free should be good reason enough. Oh, and, yeah. and okay, so uh, once you actually, well, for us, that me and Connor, that we actually uh, downloaded the app, um, once you make your me and do the, all the intro stuff, they mm-hmm. give you a Mario hat. Yes. That's, like, mm-hmm. that's so smart, like, to yeah. a casual yeah. That that downloads this downloads this app just because they heard about it and then they they give them a Mario hat. Also, uh, instance, it huh? it uh tries to get you to link your Facebook to see if there's any friend any of your Facebook friends that have it, which is Twitter? yeah, Twitter's also an option, but Facebook's first, which that's so, where a yeah. lot of casuals are. Yeah, that's a, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do well over here. Mm-hmm. I hope so. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and we're going to talk compressions, right? Yeah. Because you guys tried it. I haven't, but... Yeah, we tried it because we're cool. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we have told, experience with those Japanese... Yeah, I know. I, I, I want to wait. I, I don't want to... I don't want to... I just want to... I want it to be, like, legitimate, you know? Well, legit. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by legitimate? I don't know. I just... Like, you don't want to do it all over again? once you Yeah, yeah. It? That's kind of it, I guess. Okay, okay, I get that, but, um, yeah, I was going to do that, to be honest, but I was bored yesterday, I'm like, mm, oh, okay. yeah. I'm just going to download it, because I, 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 I probably would have, but I had so much homework. Um. Yeah, um, I tried it out, I think Connor tried it out first, though. Uh, I downloaded it pretty much as soon as Kuap got it, but I didn't try it till yesterday. Okay. So I don't um, know which of us tried it first. I know I know I had a lot more stuff before you, or because I, I was actually tweeting about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, so right when you launched the app, it it asks you like, do you want to make a me? Do you want to take a picture so it can create a me? Mm-hmm. Um, I've tried that. I tried uh, taking a picture like a selfie. Yeah. And it it makes a makes a lot of me's. Yeah, so <laughs> unlike the and like it keeps making them, it'll keep going. Yeah, yeah. Which is, it's actually it's actually really cool because the 3ds version just bases it off a picture, but this one does it like based on your live face. Yeah, yeah, which and I it, think is really cool. So I wear glasses, and I, I mm-hmm. took this when I was taking the selfie. Um, I, I was wearing my glasses, and it oh, you're supposed, to, you're supposed glasses. to take them off. No, but it recognized my glasses. Oh, oh no, interesting. I remember it, it put, on 3ds put, on, th- on 3ds on 3ds it tells it's you there. to take them off. Yeah. So that's yeah, cool. yeah. So it actually recognized glasses and actually put glasses on on one of the me's. Mm. But but um, I just decided to make it from scratch. It, it looks exactly like the one I use on Wii U and 3DS. So nice. I'm I'm happy about that. Yeah. 
Uh, it's it's kind of weird. I wonder if when you link it to your Nintendo account, and if it'll just use the me associated with that. I hope it does. Um, you know? I think that maybe? option comes before linking, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because it asks you if you want to sign into your Nintendo account. Yeah, so hopefully that'll allow you um, to. Yeah, you can I, I take that... a QR code from your 3DS anyway. That that too, but it would just be like so convenient to just have it, you know. Yeah. No, but it it doesn't allow you to uh, scan a QR code when you're making it at first. What? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it right? does. No, it didn't. It didn't let me. It it oh, just said take okay. take take a picture or make it from scratch. So maybe you uh, to scroll uh, down. Maybe you to scroll down or something. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't give me the option. Yeah, Otherwise, I it know I saw people scan scanning their. Uh, yeah, pe no, you, people you can even scan it now. No, scan it now. There's yeah, there's an option. You, you go to you go to the menu, and uh, there's a QR code option. Uh, oh, so you just can't do it right away. Not right away. Yeah. All right. Cool. You can keep adding me's. That, that's how you add me's, so you can do oh, the me photos. Why would you want to add? Oh, for me photos. But like, yeah, can you that's can, what you, can add you me. But can you make your own me's the QR code? Like your own me? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, I actually made it. I'll, I'll post it on Twitter. Yeah. Well, Connor, talk. Uh, so, impressions. Uh, I thought, um, uh, when playing the game, it, I mean, you need friends. If there's no friends, there's, yeah. like, there's zero no point. Yeah. So, uh, kind of when playing it, uh, like, the first thing, like, every, all the EU press and stuff was saying it's kind of like Tomodachi Life Cross Everyone Votes channel, which I don't really see. Like, the only similarity with Tomodachi Life is me's with voice synth synthesizers. Other than that, like, you don't feed them, you, I guess you can change their clothes. You don't give them new yeah. rooms, you don't do the, like, uh, stage performance thing. Uh, you're not trying to build relationships with other me's. Uh, and then the everyone votes, I don't see at all because there's never any like, what do you like more? This or this? It's all like, it's but, just questions. Yeah, it's questions. between you and me, what's my best yeah. attribute? And then you type in what you think their best attribute is. Or, hey, me, what's your favorite food? And then you type your favorite food. Or, or the the one I tweeted, uh, where you're me asks what what I thought you do all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, watch I, I responded out watch anime, and then then I think he said like, how do you know? Have you been spying on me? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like that. that. That was pretty fun. I don't really get the comparisons of those two. I think it's kind of similar to PlayStation Home, except uh, no, 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 not that. Ah, oh, crap. What's it called? The Toro. <laughs> Toro? That cat oh, in yeah, PlayStation All-Stars? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, his Vita game. It's similar to that, where you're yeah, like, yeah. interacting with your friends. But, uh, which kind of... It's fun, but kind of feels disappointing to me, because when they were talking about this, uh, I, I could have sworn they said something about they were aiming to make, like, games only Nintendo would make or something, but it just feels like anyone could have made this just not using mm. these. Okay, I agree with that, but you gotta hand it to them. This feels like a Nintendo game. Yeah, it does, but... It's polished like a Nintendo game. I don't think another another uh, developer would make a game this polished. Oh, yeah. I mean, even, if, a... even if it's just, just random stuff. Yeah, the thing that impressed yeah. me most is I read how much uh, care went into the animations for the oh, yeah, different yeah. things they say. Apparently there's yeah. like over 9,000 trigger words or something. Yeah, something like when 9, you 000, say um... Nintendo, coins pop up. Uh, mm -hmm. If you type when lol, you, say... you laugh. Yeah, when you say yeah. nightmare, they like shiver or something. Yeah. So there's a there's a ton of trigger words. Um, and Connor, I do understand what the basic concept could have been done, but the level to which it's executed I think is what's unique. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know, because there's, like, a lot of, like, uh, Starlight Stage is kind of a Love Live type game using Idolmaster Cinderella Girls characters from Namco, and it has a, uh, I think it's called My Room or something, 
where you're like decorating this room to try to help grow the stats of your cards. And it has a ton of polish too, that little side mode. So I feel Namco almost could have done something with this level of polish as well. Mm -hmm. um, have you tried out the Pachinko games? No. How do you access no. those? So you go to shop. You go to shop yeah. and uh, just scroll down. Oh. And then you can play those pushing cool games. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I've heard it's so, pretty, I've heard it's pretty funny to watch your me like tumble down. Have you tried? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I've tried it. I spent all mm. my tickets on it. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's it's hard because I want I wanted to get a shirt, but I kept getting like pants instead. So mm -hmm. you have to land on you have to land on a certain like a spot to get a certain part of a clothing. Um, like I, I did the I did the I wanted to get the cat oh no no what was it uh, i think i want to get like a cat hoodie or something i ended up getting shoes which sucked <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i mean they're, they're they're okay they're not gonna it's not n nothing really big in terms of those like little mini games that it has um my favorite part my favorite part of mitomo right now is me photo Oh, I've seen a lot of great photos. Yep, I've been messing around with that a lot. Um, I actually tweeted one that uh, uh, I, th I think you commented on it, the Zelda one. Um, yeah, the Amiibo, yeah, 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 yeah that, that was fun. I, I, ju I just like how you can con you have a lot a lot of control over your me to change his pose, turn him around, make him bigger. You can also add more me's to your picture. Yeah, you can add up to five, right? Up to five, yeah. And you can use you can use your friends' me's. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um so I'm I'm glad I actually I actually have some friends on here. So I have I have you, I have Connor, I have Tyler, I have a dude named Manny and Cheesemeister from Twitter. Nice. So that that actually kept kept me busy busy just uh, replying to stuff. Actually if you reply to stuff uh, that other people said, you get coins. Yeah. So I have a yeah, feeling but... a lot of stuff's just gonna be lol, same. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, well, like, well, to yours. But there's a limit of coins that you can get a day. Oh wow, interesting. I guess that's kind of fair, so you don't like just grind all day. Yeah, well, that way you don't spam like just lol on everything. Yeah. Now, how do you trigger asking, que getting asked a question? Is it random or can you choose to get asked a question? Uh... Asked a question. I, like, I do you mean by a person or by your no, me? No, like, by your, by your me. Yeah. So, you just have to tap them. Yeah, uh, oh. sometimes nothing shows up, though. I oh, think okay. you can only so, do like, a certain amount. I don't know day, what the time. No, because they come up at different sessions I play. It might be, like, a certain amount an hour or something. Got it. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, the app sounds cool. Um... Yeah, if you have an iPhone, an iPhone uh, 6s, it has 3D touch. Yes. So that's cool. You can do face to face, which is like, uh, let's say. It's it's basically on the 3DS how you can add people locally. Um, yeah. It's it's just that. Uh, that's that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Just tap a symbol at the same time, and then mm -hmm. you'll get added. And it also has like uh, you can scan QR codes using that and create a new photo right away. So pretty fun. Pretty fun app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it I, says I know it's last week to... I was. What, what? Oh yeah, last week. <laughs> yeah, last week I was like really, really down on Mies and Mitomo, but uh, man, <laughs> I, I, I liked it. I, I like it. Um. Anyway, so I was gonna say, I wanted to come out now. I don't know why. Why we like? Why do we have to wait? Is Apple still approving it? Because the game is done clearly for America. Um. Yeah. I guess it's maybe it's still. We yeah. We exactly. Yeah. It Japanese. didn't exactly. even give you an option. Mm -hmm. It just well, select your region, and the only region's Japan. Yeah, Japan. And yeah. then it's just like, okay, so that was weird. That was in English. Wait, everything's in English. What? So I, presumably, it just takes <laughs> oh, your device's language. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, except the except like the new information notes. That's oh like yeah. Well, thing. that's because oh, okay. Nintendo's sending those out. Ninten yeah. So it would be dependent on your region what language right. that ends up. So. In. Anyway, so apparently it's coming out late March. Don't really know when that technically is. I don't know what you define as late March. I just hope it comes out. Um, I mean, I have spring break in a week, like in about a, uh, in a little under a week. I hope it's out around then so I can mess with it over spring break. But we'll see. 
Um, I, it, I don't want to say anything, but it, yeah, pro- probably the last week of March. That, that's uh, yeah, that's my guess. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I don't know whether whether they're holding it, hold, hold, holding on to it. Uh, it's done. It yeah, and people people something. people clearly want it. It might have something to do with my Nintendo. And yeah, then, like having, having to get that all like established and stuff. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they're like so interconnected. It's, it like seems kind of weird playing Miitomo and having no my Nintendo integration. Cause, yeah, I mean, Arms yeah. and I are basically doing that because we don't want to screw up our accounts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so so if you download the Japanese version of my of Miitomo, don't link it to your North American Nintendo ID. Mm-hmm. Don't link it. Yeah, you that'll can't. probably mess it up. You can't. You can't, you can't unlink. unlink it once you link it. Yeah, so yeah. don't link it to your. Or, or this is. It's actually going to be my Nintendo account. Don't link it to my Nintendo account. Or or just Nintendo account. Yeah. Right. Don't link it to that. Yeah. yeah. Just wait. Just wait. If you yeah. want to try it out, like we uh, like we're doing, just download it, but don't link your Nintendo account to it. Yeah, Unless you have a Japanese nice. 3DS and a Japanese right. account. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you live in Japan primarily, then yeah, download it and then yeah, link yeah. everything. If you live in North America and you're planning on downloading the North American version, do not link it to the Japanese version. That's that's the yeah. deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, what's next? Um, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Mito- well, we spend a lot of time talking about Mitomo. Yeah. Main topic. This was the main topic. Right. And we, Just we've got giving you our first impressions about it. Yeah, what's a poll? Um, uh, so this week's... Well, I think we're doing Pokken, right? Yeah. All right, um, so this... Well, it's pretty simple. Um, so did you pick up Pokken? Slash, you know, are you going to pick it up this weekend or no? So it's basically going to be a pretty simple yes or no question. Um, and we'll let you know, you know, obviously we'll, we'll post about it on Twitter when it goes up. Um, but last week's poll is closed, and the results... Well, I guess I'll read them off. So we asked you... Who is your least favorite Zelda sidekick? We give you four to pick from. Um, we said Fee from Skyward Sword, Navi from Ocarina of Time, King of Red Lions from Wind Waker, and Ezlo, who is the hat from the Minish Cap. And Fee and Navi actually tied at 34%. Why? Uh, King of who Red voted Lions. Navi? Oh, you man. guys are scrubs. Fee is way worse. Yeah, at least Navi doesn't tell you about your battery life, right? <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> the thing with... The, the reason I like Fee more... Does she huh? does she tell you does Navi tell you about your battery life in the 3DS version? No, no. no. Oh. Well, I don't know. My 3DS has never almost yeah. died. But oh. anyway, um, so the the one thing I prefer about Fee's, I love her design. Um, Navi's obviously is the most boring design of any character in the game. But what like the actual... blue floating circle with wings? Wow, how is amazing. that not innovative? But, like, I think Fee's design is really cool, and I think it's really cool how she's, like, the spirit that uh, inhabits the sword. However, I do find that she is... Yeah, sorry, my bad. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think... I do think it's... Yeah, it's cool that her the role she plays is cool, but the amount she interrupts you is annoying. King of Red Lions uh, at 10%. Yeah, that's fine. He doesn't really bother you at all. He's actually kind of cool. Um, that's why we included Ezlo, him, because he's useless. Yeah. And Ezlo... I haven't played too much of Minish Cap, but apparently he can be pretty annoying. And he, he came in at 22%. Have you guys played um, Minish Cap a decent amount? Nope. I have. You Long have? time ago, but yeah, yeah. Do you remember if he's uh, sort of an irritating... I remember hearing things about him. <sighs> he's kind of uh, aggressive, being very in-your-face. Tyler, yeah, but... Tyler said he's annoying, but most of the time you can choose whether you listen to him or not. A lot of the time, you don't actually have to pull him out, and he's not like, "Hey, hey, hey, listen, hey, yeah. hey, listen, <laughs> listen, hey." <laughs> but anyway, um, so that last poll got forty-one votes, so that's a pretty yeah. good amount. Um, mm-hmm. and we're hoping with Pokken, you know, you'll be able to retweet so we can find out um from our followers who has and who's not. I'm expecting yeah. uh, leaning slightly towards yes, so I'm expecting yes to maybe be sixty or seventy percent. We'll um, I'm gonna go with no. I think no is gonna win, cause oh. I, I I made a I think I made a poll about this like a week ago maybe, mm-hmm. and no one. Uh, so I'm okay. gonna go with I think no is gonna, uh, we'll gonna win. Yeah. We shall see. What about you, um, uh, I think no is probably gonna win, but I think it's gonna be like fifty-five percent. Yeah. 
Um, well, we picked it up, so, yeah. <laughs> the two people who got it said, it seemed I was going to win. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, th can you make tournaments in, in Pokemon? Uh, I'm, I'm not I sure, don't but I don't so. think so. Yeah. I haven't tried, but no one talked about that in any of the reviews yeah. I saw. I'm actually pretty well, e excited to try because tomorrow I'm having my birthday party, and my, one of my friends who got is going to be bringing it, so it's going to be awesome to all try it out together, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, if you guys have Pokemon and maybe you want to play it with me. Oh, my, I mean. My Nintendo Network ID is Arms of Yeah. Uh, you have to pay a dollar on our Patreon to get mine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's. I mean, it's not like it's the same name I use for everything. Yeah, no, d don't get any ideas about that. And it's not like I just accept anyone who adds me, because I don't really mm. care. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's it for our poll, and we'll plug some stuff now. Dang, I guess... so there's anime! 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 This time we only have the usual hard cheek episode 11. Da -da -day. Da -da -day. Yeah. Then there's also, as Arms mentioned, the Dude Cast uh, episode one. That's a bi weekly podcast, but episode one's out that has yep. Kuro, who was in like episode 40. No, the episode, yeah, that, no. It, it was the episode no was missing. It was the, the infamous um, <laughs> thumbnail that I made. <laughs> yeah, best thumbnail. Okay, I think that's 30 something then. It was a while ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As yeah, well as arms. Listen, arms. If, if you arms. Yeah, if you like PlayStation, uh, go listen to the dude cast. We talked about our history with PlayStation and uh, PlayStation VR. So, yeah. And like Connor said, it's a bi-weekly podcast. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, if you guys like Amiibos, Disney Infinity, Skylanders, Lego Dimensions... Uh, you should you should go uh, listen to uh, toy the Toys for Games cast over at toysforgames.com. Wow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Mike was on this week's oh, yeah. episode. I think it was episode sixty three. I listened to it. It's mm -hmm. a long podcast, but it's actually it's it was really really uh, really fun to listen to. And if you guys aren't familiar with Mike, he's a good friend of the show. He's been on a handful of episodes now. He was on really last cool week. guy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, go go listen to that episode, that episode, and mm, go check out M Mike on his Twitter account. Yep, what's his account? Big Mike something. I don't go, remember. Okay, the name. I'll, I think it's I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll keep going. I'll yeah. Okay. Anyway, as as we mentioned earlier, uh, Blaze Kick now has a Patreon. You know, I'll spare you guys the details because we already talked about them. But the point is, um, we're basically trying to keep our site afloat, and also, in any instances, we can get better equipment for ourselves, um, for both video recording and audio recording. As you guys um, can hear, we really need it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for as little as one dollar, you can, you can benefit from this. Um, you'll get exclusive access to our monthly Blaze Kick podcast, which will be for, sure, uh, full of um, very rowdy discussion, I'm sure. 11, 11 p.m. <laughs> red-eyed discussions. Um, oh, that's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Um, and our Pokemon Yellow review, I guess, is now on the site. Who did that, guys? It was me. Okay, You nice. can tell because it, it wasn't 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would have been. <laughs> um, yeah. And one last thing I want to plug. Um, this is not sponsored by Disney or anything, but you guys should go see the movie Zootopia. It's really great. I loved it. <laughs> oh, I keep telling everyone about it. Not sponsored by Funimation. Yep. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed Zootopia. I, I cannot get um, the song from it out of my head. So, yeah. It was great. Made my week. Dang. Um, anyway, Arms, did you find uh, Mike's Twitter? No response. Um, Arms dead? <laughs> He's still maybe, in the call. Okay. Huh, I think we're just going to wrap it up. Um, we'll add Mike's Twitter in the description. And we're just going to remind you to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that's youtube.com slash blazekickmedia. Subscribe and rate the podcast on iTunes. Uh, please share this episode on Twitter or Facebook or, you know, wherever you share your stuff. And visit and like our Facebook, which is Blaze Kick Media. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. The site account is at Blaze Kick Tweet. And we have a fancy new logo 
<laughs> um, which I think we're also using for our YouTube, so be on the lookout for that. I'm at Dashy007. Connor? I'm at ArmsMXZ. All right. Hmm. Um, oh, Arms, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> okay, uh, did, you find, did you find Mike's Twitter? Yeah, it's on the yeah, Google yeah. Doc. Big Mike 8109. Okay, yeah. cool. Big Mike 8109. Um, and Arms' Twitter is double three one. Uh, and just so you guys, you can switch Arms and Connor. Um, but anyway, yeah. uh, and last but not least, be sure to visit <laughs> blazekick.com and just once more, we're going to remind you to check out our Patreon. Just watch the videos here if you're interested. Mm-hmm. And that's going to do it for this week. Yay. Another episode Bye. in the books. Bye. Oh, yeah.